Notion has some underused features that will feel like straight up cheats, but they're 100% legit, and once you start using them, you'll wonder how you ever worked without them. I've been using Notion daily for years, testing every trick, automation, and workflow hack to get the most out of it. And today, I'm breaking down the most underrated, underused, and almost secret productivity hacks that you probably haven't tried. By the end of this video, you'll be able to speed up your workflow and stop wasting time on repetitive work. Less clicking, more achieving. But if you haven't started using these, you're basically leaving time on the table. You'll keep manually tracking everything, switching between apps, and missing out on what Notion can really do. In this video, I'm covering some Notion hacks that will completely change the way you work. We're talking about ways to automate tasks you do every day, tricks that unlock hidden functionalities in your databases, and a sneaky way to turn Notion into an actual assistant. Subscribe for Notion tutorials, let's get into it. All right, the first trick here is insane. At the top of your dashboard here, if you click on search, you can search your entire account. This is kind of like a digital memory palace. But just by typing something in here, you could search the entire brain. So if I search for task nine here and then just click on task nine, I have now found this exact task in my brain. This takes your second brain to the next level because in one click, you could search through your entire memory. Hack number one, search your entire brain. All right, hack number two is one that I've gotten a few emails about. This here is headquarters, my premium Notion template, but you don't need this for the sake of this hack. What you'll do is scroll down to your task database and you're going to click here on automations. And what we'll do here is set up an automation. Now, first I need a project. I'm just going to add a fake one. We're going to call this marathon. I always use marathon as an example. I've never run a marathon. So we're going to click here on automation and we're going to say when the task is set to run, then what I want this to do is to edit the property and add the project of marathon. And not only that, we'll have the bucket of fitness and then we'll click on enable. So now here on Thursday, if I write run and click away, automatically it added marathon and it added fitness. This happened automatically in the background. You can automate selecting projects and selecting buckets. Now for that, you do need a paid Notion account. That's why I didn't design headquarters around these automations because I wanted my template to work for free accounts as well. But still super useful hack. All right, this next hack will blow your mind. Look at this. I'm going to write here, blah, 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 12 to two, right? click away. Automatically, it appears in my dashboard. And not only that, if I click on table here, automatically my time is being tracked. So I can see 120 minutes on blah, blah, blah. Now look at this. If I write here that I've gone for a run and I'll say, you know what, tomorrow as well, run. So that's two to three o'clock today, 12 to one tomorrow. Automatically, if I click on my habit tracker, you can see 60 minutes and 60 minutes. And look at this, if I tick this in, I can now see automatically that it's been ticked in 60 minutes. My habits have a time tracker automatically set up that's connected with my Notion calendar. Now I'll show you how this is done. By using this code here, it is automatically converting my Notion calendar data into minutes, which you can see here. By converting my Notion calendar into time tracking, you can find out so much about your productivity. In my Notion template, I break it down into projects and life buckets so I know exactly where my time is going. And it's been the best productivity hack that I've used because it's running in the background without me even knowing. After you have at least one week's worth of time tracking data, what you'll do is go up here and click on these three dots. And here, what you're going to do is click on export. And what you'll do is export this format as Markdown and CSV. Now upload this CSV to ChatGPT. And here you can ask it questions about your productivity using your actual data. When on average do I start my day? How often am I context switching? Is my average day optimized for productivity? Which project have I spent some time on, but clearly not enough? Here you can ask it all the questions about your actual productivity. I've done this and the results are fascinating. Now the next hack is one that I've never seen anyone talk about. If you click on plus here and you click on text, 
What you can now do in this database here feels insane. So right now, if you click on open for blah, 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 for example, here you can start writing random stuff. So you can write your stuff here on this page, but we only have this one page to write stuff on, right? You can't write here, for example, or you can't write in this column, for example, but you can now. So under this text here, let's just say notes, for example. So bear in mind, it has to be a text property. And here you'll do plus, and here you can write whatever you want. So I'll write notes here. And as you can see, we are creating a sub page. So I'll click here, and now we have created this page in this blah, blah, blah here. And of course, I can open this up. So now we've created a page, and that page here exists in this database. So this is a sneaky trick in creating more pages in your database. Now this last hack I cannot recommend enough and I've built it into headquarters here. I recommend having a button up here for taking quick notes. You should subscribe, subscribe now. Okay, there's my note, but you don't just want to take this note here. You wanna be able to select the life bucket and the project specifically that it ends up in. So let's just say for this project here, we'll say marathon training. And for the life bucket here, uh, let's just say it's to do with fitness. So now when I take this note, it won't just be forgotten about like you do with your note app or your sticky notes. Instead, now when I'm working on my marathon training, for example, I can see you should subscribe sitting right here. My notes automatically show up where they should show up. By the way, if you found headquarters interesting, it is linked in the description. It's got over 2,500 users and a five-star rating. If you wanna see the full tour, then click on this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it useful and I'll see you in this tour.